Hello, language enthusiasts. My name is Daniel, and this is my series of lessons on Old Norse language, free, online, and for English speakers. As you can see in this whiteboard, we will see in this lesson a bit of the vocabulary of the Old Norse, specifically the word river, or at least one of the words for river, which takes the base form of O. All that you can see in this lesson will feature in the description of the video for you to copy on your digital or your physical notes. Those who may have problems watching or listening to this lesson can activate the subtitles, rewind and rewatch as many times as you need. You can also take a picture of this whiteboard, but I will post on Instagram a picture of it. And so, let's start. For the word river, we will first notice what kind of word it is. And it is a feminine word, which takes the paradigm of the O root, the long O with a macron, and it also can be classified inside the genitive singular ar and the nominative plural ir inside the feminine paradigm. And this information right here will give us a slight idea on how it glances. And it takes the following forms. For the nominative, accusative, and dative singular, it takes the base form o. o. But when you suffix the articles, it will take a different form for each of them. For instance, in nominative singular, oin. Oin. In accusative, ona. Ona. And in the dative, oni. Oni. In the genitive singular form, we have the or, or, but we also have the form of the article subfixated, which is orinar, orinar. Those who may know a bit of Spanish may find this declension right here with the article subfixated a bit funny because it is a scatological word specifically a scatological verb. Let's continue to the plural forms. In the nominative and accusative forms, both share the same two possible alternatives. Or, 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 oir, oir. And it also takes the same article for both, which is ornar, ornar, or, oirnar. Or not. Now we have the dative plural form, om, om. But when we add the article at the end, we have to eliminate that m and add onum, onum. And then we have the final form of genitive plural, o, o. And with the article suffixated, it will be ona. Oh, no. And so, that was the lesson. I hope you liked it. If you want to follow this channel and support it, you could subscribe to it, give a like, make a comment, share on your networks. You could also add this video to a playlist. You can find me in other platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, uh, Patreon. We publish some courses on Udemy. We have some charging rooms on Discord. I'm also offering uh, personalized commissions for Old Norse texts. You can invite new people who may like this content. But above all, I hope you learn. Many thanks.